On today's episode of the Duran Messinger Show, Dylan, we're talking about new facilities for the Texas Longhorns. Texas fans, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. It's greatly appreciated. And check us out at hornsports.com for all the latest in Texas news. Now, Dylan, this all is coming from CDC's town hall where he just goes on mm-hmm. and on about every facility, every sport, every anything a fan would like to say or no and in an hour and a half Dylan we're going to condense that all into a little short segment just in terms of Longhorns football facilities yet again there's quite the extensive talk about everything else Dylan but to start the big news is the new practice facility for the Longhorns football team will begin construction in June right across from the Rex sports facilities on the current social works building land Dylan what do you think about this project in terms of what it means for not only the team itself, but maybe recruiting as well? Yeah, I mean, it, it puts them in the upper echelon of practice facilities, right? I think that was the whole point to be more comparable to that of Georgia, Alabama, you know, obviously the ones they're now going to be recruiting against uh, and just competing against in general on the football field, right? So it kind of it evens that playing field um, as well. It sounds like it was overdue too, so the fact that it's it's finally happening, I think that's that's great news for Longhorns fans, right? And plus, like, hey, who's going to say no to a new facility? Oh, exactly. And the new facility, Dylan, reported last year by Horns 24-7, it's going to cost $70 million. It's a pretty penny, of course. For UT, it seems like there's money everywhere, so it's not too big of a problem seemingly for them. It's what your tuition goes towards, so... Uh, not exactly, Dylan. It does not, but <laughs> nice try. Uh, but the bubble most likely is going to be torn down. Maybe they put the social work building there or maybe some sort of other sport project. But for now, of course, they will be moving in across the rec sports facility area. And Dylan, as you said, stay of the art, of course. That's going to mm-hmm. help recruiting. And Dylan, even logistically, that's less walk. I know it's mm-hmm. dumb to think about, but it's less of a walk from the new facility to the, you know, just locker room area at DKR before they were having to shuttle back and forth. It's the little things that matter. It's the little things. Mm-hmm. But Conserve more energy. You can put it on the football field. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if it translates things. to Saturdays. Yeah. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, Dylan, is we're going from training to DKR itself. I'm going to start with the hot topic here. I had to lower my list, but... Everyone's going to want to mm. talk about it. Grass, Dylan. Yeah. Grass. 2026, Important. grass is being installed at DKR once that training facility has been completed. What do you think yeah. about this? Is this a big deal? Is this no deal? Is this any deal? I think I think it's huge because you hear every year how somebody loses their Achilles at MetLife because it's turf, right? Like a lot of players, a lot of people that used to play, they all complain about the turf and how it feels like concrete at times, just given the conditions, right? Like other conditions, especially if it's outside, let's use MetLife again, right? So I think it's it shows that Texas is listening to what other people are talking about um, and transitioning towards that because I think it, it makes it safer for your players, and it's also what they want to be playing on anyways. And plus, like, it'd be nice to be able to have your star players the length of the season. And if this was one of the concerns of something that could – you know, shorten somebody's season, I, I would hope that they would, you know, take that upon themselves to, to replace, which, which they're doing. So I, you know, I, I love it. Surprisingly, I was like, grass, grass, this is huge. Oh, I, I was so, very excited to win. I mean, yeah. the return to grass for the stadium, I think is just a nice one. And as you said, there's, you know, an, a reason medically for the move, but also just to get in line with all the other SEC stadiums that have natural grass. Soon enough, the Longhorns will be in that group once again. And Dylan, yet again, it's, I don't know, the stadium, if anyone wants to go and check it out, there's probably going to be no running near the field because they were already tough to let you on the field, Dylan. Now, with natural grass, you are not going to be able to see it. That's the fun side point. Another thing that CDC mentioned was the new scoreboard in the south end zone is going to be installed, replacing the old one, which was kind of, more of a temporary fix Dylan they're not redoing the whole south end zone so don't you know start panicking now if you notice before at the games it looked like a temporary scoreboard in the I guess insides for lack of a better word 
of their new setup. There's going to be a scoreboard that fits it all now, and it's going to look nice from what CDC was saying. And then, Dylan, in terms of that, I mean, fans will be enjoying replays. That's what you're getting out of that. And it's going to be. And apparently, they're finishing the back of the scoreboard, too, with a nice Longhorn logo. At the end, I believe CDC was talking about, you know, he wants people to know where they're at and see the Longhorn symbol from the freeway. And I, that was one of my favorite parts, too, because it was like, there are sometimes I get lost. So that'll help kind of steer me in the right direction when I'm driving through Austin. Uh, of course, either that or the, the lights, I hope, Dylan, would be enough if you, need, yeah. if you already need yeah. more than that. Another thing CDC was mentioning was new concession stand improvements to some parts of the stadium. Of course, for any fan that's watching and going to DKR on a Saturday, that's always much needed and well welcomed. I think Dylan was talking about the scanless checkout, and he was talking about how it confused him at first, how it worked. That's just Mm -hmm. how revolutionary in terms of tech that we've gotten as a society but any process that helps speed things up. And it's not only applied there, but other stadiums. If you go to Q2 Stadium for Austin FC game, they have similar sort of technology, which has helped just get people in and out with their food and drinks. But Dylan, go ahead. Well, he also said keeping concession prices low, right? But I don't think that means they're going to stay the same. and They're not low. (laughs) I hate to break it to you, but... Tall boy there, food there. It's not it's not cheap, but maybe you know you're not paying so much for the uh, the labor anymore since it'll be since it'll be I think just scanning it right and it does reduce waste time wait time. So that's that's good. Well, but a nice, I don't think I think it's yeah, still gonna a be nice. Crazy. Nice beer is still gonna run you something. Of course, the Longhorns. Funny enough, Dylan are still on the cheaper side of some of those concession prices, but you know yet again, it still will run you pretty penny. And then, Dylan, the last thing we want to talk about in terms of DKR, and it's not really going to be something the fans see, but it will make an impact, is there's going to be a new recruiting lounge for the Longhorns. Of course, that's more on their team side of the stadium that they get access to, and they keep everyone out for good reason. Dylan, you don't want us snooping around, taking pictures of everything. The recruits, though, they'll be loving it. I've seen... The construction of it, Dylan, because it's kind of near the media area when you're going to post-game press conferences, it's going to look nice. I can confirm that. But, Dylan, just overall recruiting, of course, new Sark contract as well has been you know, put into place. If you're a recruit, how are you feeling about this time in Longhorns history? Hey, I mean, the, the nicer the better, right? Because I think the most important part is when they go in there, you want to make it nice, so they start putting it on their Snapchat, and then everyone's got content to put on Twitter that this person here is, you know, at the at the lounge, shared it to everybody, and it kind of almost markets itself, right? So I think it's it's great for that. But I, I think if you're a Texas fan or just a recruit in general, you got to be like, this Texas is in a good spot with the way that they're building towards a lot of these stuff. I know there's a lot of aesthetic things, but that is ultimately what's very important in, in recruitment, right? So – it's showing people what you got, what you got to offer. Uh-huh. So I think they're doing a great job exemplifying. And you alluded to it earlier, recruiting in terms of the facilities and just practice facilities, it's an arms race. And now they're yeah. back in the fold of things and probably really leading the forefront of that. So in the meantime, of course, it's always you know going up and up. In the meantime, they yeah. are in a very good position facility-wise. But more importantly than our thoughts about facilities, What do you think about the new additions? Let us know down below. Grass or no grass? Do you have a preference? Let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great rest of your day.